today's subject maths standard first and topic is introduction and writing of zero dear children let us learn today about what is the meaning of zero and how to write zero okay here you can see four people they are standing on the bus stop mummy daddy and two children right they are waiting for the bus here we will write four passengers are waiting for a bus after some time the bus arrives and all these four people they board the bus means four passengers went in the bus right then how many remained on the bus stop yes dear children no one is there right all these four passengers they boarded the bus here we can say like this zero passengers remain zero means no one nothing right zero passengers remain now here you can see a white dish with five ladoos you know the counting isn't it here we can see five ladoos right now one more plate is there pink colored plate can you see any ladoos in that no right pink dish has no ladoos it means there are zero ladoos got this children no means here zero okay next here one boy is there okay he is having Five rupee note. Mother gave him five rupee note. Okay, and at that time he saw a lollipop shop. He wanted to buy a lollipop because he liked lollipop. So he went to the shop and he asked the cost of lollipop. The shopkeeper said. One lollipop costs rupees five. Okay, now the boy gave five rupees to the shopkeeper, and he purchased one lollipop. See here. Okay, means how many rupees remained with that boy? Can you tell me? He was having five rupees. The cost of one lollipop is five rupees. So he gave five rupees to the shopkeeper, and shopkeeper gave him one lollipop. How many rupees remained with boy? Nothing means zero rupees. Right? Zero means here also nothing remained with boy. Correct? i hope you understood about the meaning of zero the value of zero isn't it okay here you can see these numbers you know very well about these numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right okay now tell me where will be the place of zero zero is less than 1 isn't it zero means nothing one means one right one object one pencil if you give one pencil that you are having to your friend means you have zero pencil right so zero should come before one 
Am I right? Here we start. This is zero first means nothing. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and one make two. You know, two and one make three. Right? Three and one make four. Like that it continues. Zero is lesser than all these numbers. Got this children? Here you can see butterflies and one boy he is trying to count the butterflies and butterflies are flying here and there. Now this boy is counting. Let us see how many butterflies he counts. One, two, three, four, five and six. He counted here six butterflies. Now, what about his counting? Has Yash counted correctly? Yes? Okay, we will be last to count the same butterflies to one more girl named Rama. Now, she is trying to count these flying butterflies. Let us see what will be the counting of Rama. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She added one more number to the earlier countings. Yes, dear children, is Rama's counting correct? Yes? Don't know, right? Because these butterflies are flying. They are flying here and there. They are not in one place. Correct? Okay. Now, here a kingfisher who is a magician came to their help. He helped these two children to count the butterfly. He told the butterflies to stay in a line because he is a magician. Right? He said the butterflies to stay in a single line. We'll see how the butterflies will stay. Yes, all the butterflies, they listened to the kingfisher and they sat on the grass. They are in a single row. Now, Yash came forward to count these butterflies. Let us see the counting. This is one, he said. This is two, correct. This is third one. This is fourth. This is number five. This is sixth butterfly. This is seventh one. And this is eighth one. Earlier, Yash said there are six butterflies. And Rama said there are seven butterflies. But really, there are how many butterflies? Yes. Yash said there are eight butterflies. Because he counted it properly. Now, these butterflies are in a single row. So, the counting became easy. And it is perfect now. Right? There are total eight butterflies. Four are in blue color and four are in purple color. Right? Yes, dear children, by this counting, we came to know that 
if the objects are in a row then we can count them properly easily and perfectly isn't it okay one more example here you can see the children they are moving they are playing right and here you can see the children they are standing in a row holding their hands now tell me what is easier counting children while they are playing or while they are standing in a row which one is easier yes very good counting children while they are standing in a row is easier than counting children while they are moving isn't it okay now here one activity is there join the picture with the correct number as yash has done for you okay here we can see so many pictures and in between these pictures we can see the numbers that is from 1 to 9 right we will proceed to the activity first here we can see a peacock one peacock right so we will draw a line to one that means one peacock is there in that box okay now here we can see mice 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven here we can see seven mice so we will draw a line to seven see this correct penguins let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 here we can see eight penguins our line will connect eight next we can see 1 2 3 3 mosquitoes machhar right so we will draw a line to 3 we will move to the next side Here we can see lice. Here we can see lice. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll draw a line to nine. Correct? Your frogs are there. One, two, three, four, five. Five frogs we can see in this box. We'll draw. a line to five only two elephants they are dancing we'll draw a line to two next snakes we can see here four snakes am i right we'll draw a line to show four your turtles 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 turtles correct yes we have done our activity we have joined the picture with the correct number isn't it like this activity you are also going to do as a homework okay here one more activity help rama to join numbers 1 to 9 in the increasing order okay in the increasing order means increasing means from smaller to bigger okay zero is smaller than one you are right and one and one makes two means two is bigger than one here we can say the join the numbers 1 to 9 in serial order okay that is equal to increasing order see here one dot is there here after one comes two so this arrow tells that 
1, then it reached 2. From 2 to 3, see here. Correct? After 3 comes 4. Where is 4? Yes, here it is. So, we will draw arrow from 3 to 4. Right? After 4 comes 5. Here it is. So, we will draw an arrow to 5. Okay? Then comes 6. Right? 5. Where is 6? Yes, here it is. So, we will draw like this arrow to show 6. After 6 comes 7. 7 is here only. Right? Then from 7 to 8. See here. This is 8. From 8 the last number is 9. And 9 is here below. So we will draw an arrow like this. Correct? Now we can say here that Rama has joined the numbers from 1 to 9 in the increasing order. For the children? Yes. Very good. Here you can see 6 children. And we will go through their names. See, he is Prem, Sai, Asmita, she is Rama, Gauri and he is Prathamesh. Okay, dear children, here also we are going to do one activity. These six children are standing in a row. Now we will count the alphabets in their names. First one is Prem, isn't it? See here, how many alphabets are there in Prem world? C, P, 1, R, 2, E, 3, M, 4. Means we will write here, there are 4 alphabets in the name Prem. Okay, like that only, we will count for Sai. S, 1, A, 2, I, 3. Let us write here 3 number because 3 alphabets are there in Sai name. Next is Asmita. A, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6. We will write here 6. Correct? Then Rama. 1, 2, 3, 4. We will write here 4 number. Gauri. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct? 5. Then Prathamesh. So big name. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Let us write here number 9. Okay. For the children, now tell me whose name has maximum. Maximum means more. More alphabets. Come on, tell me. Here you can see 6 names. Whose name has more alphabets? Maximum alphabets. Yes, very good. Prathamesh. His name has nine alphabets. That is maximum. Correct? Now, come on. Tell me whose name has minimum alphabets? Less alphabets. Yes? Very good. Sahi. Sai's name has only three alphabets. Correct? Very nice. I hope you understood about the numbers and zero. Very nice. Yes, your, this work is for you. Match the objects with numbers. You have to count 
the objects and you have to draw a line to that number okay you know how to do correct one more count the objects and circle the numbers here also same thing you have to do you count the objects and you have to circle the number you have to put circle to the proper number okay this work for you you have to do this okay thank you dear children see this is zero right these are all zeros correct okay in the next lecture we will go through what is more and what is less till then take care of you okay bye